Kim Kardashian speaking out now. Why did she call it quits so soon? She says she tied the knot for love, but may have rushed into things. Here's ABC's Andrea Canning with the latest. Kim Kardashian touched down in Australia to promote her new purse line, and a swarm of paparazzi were out in full force, ambushing her and Chloe as soon as they got off the plane. <laughs> Photographers fought to snap shots like this. Kim's ring finger, bare, missing that famous wedding ring. Mr. and Mrs. Chris Humphreys. The fairy tale wedding that we all saw on E! has ended in divorce after just 72 days. And now for the first time, Kim speaks out. In the tough situation, I'm, I think I'm, you know, trying to do the best that I can. Talking to the Kyle and Jackie O radio show this morning. I would never marry for a TV show, for money, for anything like that. And I think that's really ridiculous that I have to even, you know, kind of defend that. But, you know, I guess that comes along with what's, you know, when you film your wedding for a reality show. Overnight, Kim also defended herself in an emotional open letter to her fans. I married for love. I want a family and babies and a real life so badly that maybe I rushed into something too soon. According to People Magazine, Kim is purposely lying low. Sources are telling us that Kim's embarrassed by this whole situation, so we're not anticipating to see her at any parties or clubs in the near future. She wrote, I got caught up with the hoopla and the filming of the TV show, that when I probably should have ended my relationship, I didn't know how to and didn't want to disappoint a lot of people. She continued, it just didn't turn out to be the fairy tale I had so badly hoped for. She also let her mom, Kris Jenner, speak for her on the radio show Sway in the Morning. Kim didn't make any money off of this wedding. Yeah. She didn't make five cents off wow. of the wedding. She spent millions of dollars of mm -hmm. her own money on a wedding. And according to Jenner, she consoled her daughter. I told Kim, yeah. you're not the first person who's ever gotten a divorce. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You're not going to be the last. Right. <laughs> Kim's stepfather, Bruce Jenner, also spoke so out. Still, all I know is Kim's doing great. Okay. Meanwhile, Chris Humphrey's plans for a big Las Vegas bash seem to be called off. And TMZ is reporting that the Humphreys family let it be known that they thought Kim was giving up too soon on their son. Kim ended her letter with an apology. I'm sorry if I've hurt anyone, but my dad always told me to follow my heart, and I believe now that I really am. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York.